Hello everyone, welcome to Technology Moments. And in this opportunity and in this video, I'm gonna show you very quickly how to create a VPN server in the Unified Dream Machine. Just remember that this procedure can work in basically any other device uh, of Unify, like the Unify Dream Machine Pro, like the USG, like the USG uh, Pro, and for example, right here, the UDM Pro, uh, the, which is a very robust uh, gateway from Unify, which has Dual One. I invite you, by the way, to watch the video regarding Dual One and fail over um, having basically the possibility of having two different ISPs, which will provide you with fail over uh, capabilities. Okay, so the first thing that we are going to use is a radio server. I already have it uh, configured and running here in this unified dream machine. However, you can create it very quickly. Uh, for example, as you can see right here, I have a default profile here in my in my radio server that has four users. I'm gonna use just one of these. One tip that I give you is that you have to create for the first time and for your test simple username and passwords just in case you need to troubleshoot something and the username and passwords or the special characters are not gonna get on the way. Okay, so let's go now to networks right here and we're going to create a new VPN connection uh, server. So we're going to create a new network. We're going to put right here the name of the connection. Uh, in this case, I'm going to make this lab with lab VPN. We're going to choose right here that I'm going to give access, remote access. In a future video, we're going to have a side-to-side -side connection set up right here with one UDM over here and a UDM Pro connected remotely. Right here, we have to select L2TP and we're going to write down right here a pre-shared secret key that is going to be our IPsec uh, secret key. Let's show it right here. This one, this one is the one that we're going to use remotely to connect to this radius uh, to this server to this vpn server i'm going to use right here this public ip address that i have over here this is sort of like a prerequisite in order for us to connect to this device it has to have a public address right here i'm going to use the default radius profile that i just showed you a couple minutes ago and we're going to uh, check right here if the users are as specified. The gateway subnet that we have right here is something very important as if you're going to connect remotely to a server running a firewall in Windows, you might want to add exceptions as we are going to check in our next video. So we're going just to click right here and add the network and the, the VPN has already been created. You don't have to worry about ports, port redirection or anything like that as the server is going to create the exceptions in the firewall automatically. Okay, so as of this moment, our server has already been created and is up and running. So let's go to our client devices and create the VPN connections. This is something very important. We're going to do it first here in Windows for which we're going to go to VPN configuration right here. You just type VPN in the start menu. You're going to add a new VPN the provider is the VPN integrated, the Windows integrated VPN network. The name of the connection, it doesn't have to be exactly as the server as we created it. I just, uh, I just gave that name. We're going to type right here the IP address, very important, or the FQDN if you have it uh, configured with a, with a dynamic DNS or something like that. Right here, we're going to choose L2TP slash IPsec with a pre-shared key, which is actually gonna be the one that we just wrote over there in the VPN server. Let's remember that right here, I am remotely using this device. Uh, right here, I'm going to choose one of the usernames and the passwords that I have in the Radius server. Let me just remind you that these are the settings that you have to have for each of those users. Then we're going to click and save right here in the VPN and we just can directly connect to it, but there is one consideration. Let's try to connect. Once you try to connect to such VPN, let's come over here and check that I am, you can do it uh, either from the control panel or from here from the Wi-Fi connections, and it's gonna give us this uh, kind of error. If you receive this error, once you try to connect to the VPN, you're just going to go back to the adapter settings. Let me show you. Let's go over here. Let's click here, close, and we're going to go to change the adapter settings. 
right here we're going to choose the lab VPN the one just that we just created uh, properties security and we're going to check right here Microsoft chap version 2 and we are going to activate that protocol let's try to connect again and we're going to successfully connect for those of you who are new to VPNs uh, it is exactly like if you were connected uh, directly to the local area network at the site in which you have the VPN server if you're going to connect uh, remotely using your Android device or your Apple device you can do exactly the same thing you're gonna go to the network settings you're gonna go to VPN and we're going to create a new VPN profile uh, we're gonna give it the name we're going to use the remote server IP address which is uh, the IP address where the VPN server is located in this case the UDM the unified dream machine right here we're going to type that address and after that we're gonna specify our pre-shared key this is something very important uh, it is an IPsec pre-shared key it is not an L2TP secret uh, this is a common mistake and that will um, make you reject the VPN connection you just write the IPsec pre-shared key and right after that you're gonna choose your username and the password that you're gonna use from this device uh, you can connect simultaneously from two devices using the same username and password once you're done with that and you have successfully saved that VPN connection you can add a widget for your VPN connection just by selecting the widget of VPN or settings and selecting the VPN connection that you want associated with that uh, widget so you will have it in your home screen at reach at this moment you will be able to browse files remotely as if you were physically in the location where the dream machine is so let's go and browse for example a server if for any reason at this point you don't have access to that remote server uh, it might be due to restrictions on the firewall of the remote computer so let me uh, tell you that it is something very simple to fix I'm gonna leave in the description the link to the to the video in which I'm gonna explain how to open the firewall in order for you to have remote access to that uh, server let me remind you that that is due to the fact that the computer is in the same local area network virtually but it has a different subnet uh, associated with it also an additional tool that we're going to use uh, very much when we are connected remotely and due to the fact that is the port that is most exploited nowadays is the remote desktop using remote desktop through a VPN is something that is a very good idea uh, just remember that you might want to give the IP address of the remote computer instead of the name of the computer as the name of the computer might be associated with a different IP address something very important uh, this is an example of how you can browse files from your uh, Android device when you are connected through a VPN to your home or office server okay guys thank you very much for having watched this video remember that you support us by subscribing to our channel we are um, right here looking for a lot of subscriptions a lot of likes to our videos so we can grow and uh, continue to provide you with this great content see you next time